Do you remember back in the 60s when R4s were a thing? And then not incredibly long after that, Mad Max was a thing. And then not incredibly long after that, Barbie was a thing. Now, imagine if Mad Max and Barbie had gotten together and decided they needed to build a vehicle for, I don't know, their 17-year-old daughter. This is what I think they would have come up with. Now, all car shows are a little bit hectic and demanding, and it's always nice to have something just to break up the flow a little bit. But this, I am reliably insured, is something of a vision of the future for this particular vehicle. Well, wow is about all I can say. If you're finding the situation in the world a little bit stressful right now, and you're wondering if you might have to drive through the middle of Armageddon, there are worse cars you could pick to do it in than this one. Just look at the styling. I don't even really know where to begin describing this. It's so in your face, it isn't true. And I have to love it for that. I mean, just look at this bonnet. It's one thing to suggest it's got these massive gouges out of the front. Why, I'm not entirely sure. Airflow is the only thing I can assume, but to put two massive pink lights in the middle of it, that really is sticking two fingers right up a conventional vehicle design. And that aesthetic carries itself right the way throughout this vehicle. And I'm really honestly delighted. It's boring to keep seeing cars that don't push the paradigm or challenge the conventional thinking. And this one absolutely does that in spades. But take a look at this. This apparently is a wheel of the future. And while we're on that subject, look at these sides. I have literally no idea why you would design the side of a car like this, but it looks fully amazing. Look at these pink details with lights. Again, just why? I have less than no idea, but they certainly look original and cool. Now, as I understand it, the point and purpose behind designing a concept car is to imagine one version of the future, not least to see how the public react to it. And modern car design can be all a little bit the same, not least because everyone's going for the most aerodynamic design and now we have to worry about electrics and how do we deal with coefficients and making sure that we get the most range. This car, I promise you, is not interested in any of that at all. This is about fun. But you know what? I absolutely do believe that there will be a Renault 4 SUV and I think some of these styling details might just make it through. A couple of them that are probably worth paying attention to. This is an interesting approach to the digital mirrors on the side, lots of cars digital mirrors. I quite like the way they've handled that stylistically. I like the approach to managing to put a roof rack on a glass roof. Long been a bugbear with an awful lot of cars. You put a glass roof on for design, but then you can't load anything on top of it. And if you want the utility, you really need to be able to do it. So that looks kind of cool especially with its pink straps. As I'm sure you can guess, we're not actually allowed to go in the vehicle because of course it's a concept, but I love what they've done with the display here, the crystal see-through with the information printed on top. Now I know that that's only a display and not an active one, but I would love to see that fully realized. How cool would that look? I like the fact that the back has really been imagined to take the best of, shall we say, well, I'm gonna, Grope for post-industrial design? Does that sound right to you? And these lights, well, come on. They're just cool, aren't they? But most of all, this pink four right here lets you know that whoever owns this vehicle, they aren't messing, and you probably shouldn't mess with them either. In keeping with the industrial design on the rear, you have a spade and two ramps to get you out of being stuck in that traditional off-roading experience. What I love is that they've calculated with this concept that this is such an important feature that you actually need this attached to your car significantly more than you're going to need to be able to see out of the back of it. Making me think that what I'm doing is driving away at great speed from the zombies who are attacking me from this direction. And what happens if I get stuck on a pile of them? I'm equipped and ready to go. The name of this car is the Renault Forever. And I guess that's an optimistic take on what you could achieve if you have to escape from zombies driving one.